I'm Hug, this is the dice. I'm wearing a hat because I've decided, you know what? We shouldn't be letting the fucking edgy shitlord dude bros steal hats from us. Everyone should get to wear hats. In fact, let's make the edgy shitlord dude bros not want to wear hats anymore. We're going with a kind of more relaxed, fun, vloggy kind of thing today because a couple of weeks ago I went to an art exhibit with my friend Erica. We went to see the work of Roadkill Reanimator, who is an artist I've been following for a few years and whose work I've been wanting to check out for, well, a few years. He's not quite a taxidermist. Uh, as far as I know, he doesn't really do much work with skins, but he does a lot of work with bones, most of which are, as you have probably guessed from the name, Roadkill. He makes sculptural pieces from skeletons and mannequins and old toys and bits of wood and wire and all kinds of materials and I think mostly found materials. This is the kind of thing that really appeals to me and my fucking slapdash macabre aesthetic. So I filmed our wander through the exhibition, a little bit of, little bit of post-exhibition wandering. Uh, I thought you might like it, I thought it might be fun for you. So yeah, here, here it is. Have fun. I feel like I need to make more stuff like this myself. Because you know yourself, this is the kind of thing I make. <laughs> Yep. Uh, I don't know. I'm definitely filming. In some way. This is very much my aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine is, um, mine's a little bit more I live in a swamp than yours. Oh, oh, that's very cool. That's awesome. This is going to be cool. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it might be better if you did.
What? Like they used to hold the whole tank. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a very, very cool idea. It's like um, a very kind of recycled curiosity cabinet kind of thing. to put together a haunt it would be more this kind of thing Happy Christmas! Happy, happy, happy Halloween! Just, just, just happy? Just, just, you're just happy. Why is the happy sinking into the ground? <laughs> is this some kind of metaphor? You are now. <laughs> some kind of metaphor like happiness is fleeting. It gets sucked into the bog of misery. So here's what we're actually here for. We don't care about that bougie as fuck shopping district. <laughs> yeah, so we probably shouldn't go in over the fence. It's probably a safety thing. They don't want people suing the county council if they uh, dislodge part of this church and get their leg broken or something. Yeah, danger. That was that was really cool right that was that was really fucking cool i used to make a lot of stuff like this not quite on the same level but here here's some of the things i have made that are of a similar nature
this exhibition got me wanting to do more of that, making more of that kind of thing again. If you like the work you have seen here, Roadkill Reanimator's Facebook page is down in the description. I think you should follow it and yeah, yeah, go through the images, give them some likes. If there's anything for sale that you can afford, think about buying it. I also want to talk about another creative that you should all support and um, that I think is definitely worthy of following and supporting. Her name is Alex Flanagan. She is a playwright, a musician and a podcaster. She is one of the presenters on the Cryptid Keeper podcast along with Addison Peacock and is presenter on the Great Bakes Hot Takes podcast which is a Great British Bake Off fan cast along with Andrew Giata. I support Alex on Patreon and have seen, I've read bits of some of her plays and they are very, very touching, very well crafted plays. They deal with themes like coming from a mixed heritage background or coming from a family with not a super great dynamic, things like that and home and identity, that kind of thing. Her work, just reading it. I haven't seen any, I haven't even seen recordings of performances, but just reading some of her work has flat out made me cry. I think it's very, very good. As a podcast host, she is charming, is, is the most useful word, uh, the most applicable word, but she's also very funny, um, very witty and very informative, uh, especially on Cryptid Keeper which is obviously a podcast about cryptids. And you know what? You know what? While I'm talking about Cryptid Keeper, I'm going to shout out the other host, Addison Peacock. She has such a lovely voice. Uh, she is a really lovely voice. I've heard her in Cryptid Keeper, but I've also heard her as a voice actor in the Alexandria Archives, Congeria. And I think I've heard her on the No Sleep podcast. I know she's definitely done stuff for the No Sleep podcast because she's tweeted about it, but I ironically often fall asleep to the No Sleep podcast, so I'm not sure. I, 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 may, have, I may have drifted off. But both Addison and Alex have Kofi's. Alex has a Patreon, as I said before, and the Cryptid Keeper podcast has a Patreon. So I urge anyone, all of you, if you are interested in theatre, if you are interested in cryptids and the Great British Bake Off, and if you are interested in supporting talented voice actors, please give them what support you can. They, they both really deserve it. You know, I'm going to make this a, a fucking regular thing. I'm, I, I like doing shit like this. I'm, I'm probably gonna do this like regularly. Just talk about some people who deserve your money. Yeah, that'll be a thing. <laughs>